What do you think of this trade request? Idiotic. Let's get that out the way. Um, here's a guy in Kyrie Irving that for the last three years has gotten most of his money but missed more than 50% of his games. Enters the last year after this offseason. Um, obviously, the situation that he got himself into earlier this year was unfortunate, um, but he resurrected himself from that. Was playing spectacular basketball, leading vote getter amongst guards for the All Star game, um, playing outstanding basketball, and reminding everybody what an absolute flat out superstar basketball player he is. No one questioned that. All we ever questioned was. Can the man go the rest of the season without being any kind of distraction if he's going to have a chance to get his money? And lo and behold, he pulls this. And why? Because the Brooklyn, Met, the Brooklyn Nets had the temerity, the unmitigated goal, to say, play the season. We'll see. Because we haven't had you for a full season without any drama. And here he is again. For a guy that's looking for a long-term deal, from another team, there is no question about what you're getting when Kyrie Irving is on the basketball court. The only question mark regarding him is his commitment to not being a distraction and to going out there and performing. And the fact that he's made headlines with this, all it did was serve to remind everybody out there he's spectacular. We'd love to have him in our uniform so long as we don't have to make a long-term investment in him because he cannot be trusted. Mm. He just reminded the basketball world of that. So, Stephen A., if you're a GM for some of the teams that we've talked about that have the space to trade for Kyrie Irving, the Clippers, the Lakers, the Mavericks, the Heat, as some of those teams, would you do it? Would you, would you make that deal? It depends on what I'm getting rid of in return for his services. If I'm getting a superior basketball player, and in the midst of all of that, I'm getting rid of players and contracts that I don't want on my docket, sure. But that's entirely different, Malika, than making a long-term commitment in him because you're not obligated to do that just because you trade for him. He can talk about where he wants to go all he wants to, but if there's not a market for him to get a long-term contract, then he has to accept whether it's staying in Brooklyn or going wherever he ends up going because there's not a market out there for somebody that's willing to give him a long-term deal. That's the situation. He doesn't have the leverage that he thinks he has. Mm. I, I, I'm looking at our, our news bar. It says that Kyrie has maintained interest in the Los Angeles Lakers. Before we let you go, Stephen A., your thoughts on a potential reunion between LeBron James and Kyrie Irving? That would be absolutely spectacular if the Lakers were able to pull it off. But in order to do that, they'd have to send away probably Russell Westbrook. If you do that to get the $47 million off your book, Brooklyn would have to reunite KD with Russell Westbrook. How you think they go, how you think KD going to feel about that? Right. And so regardless of what everybody is saying, I consider that scenario highly unlikely. Impossible? No, but highly unlikely. I'd love to see Kyrie Irving in Tinseltown with LeBron and Anthony Davis and see what that materializes into. But the bottom line is the Lakers would have to give up a haul to get him. The Brooklyn Nets would have to accept and embrace that haul, and that's a lot to expect. So I consider that to be a highly unlikely scenario. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.